We are husbands and dads who make fun of each other and everything around us. This is meant to be entertaining, mostly to us. If you feel the need to post negative thoughts or criticisms, stop it, or so help me I will turn this van around. Just buckle up and enjoy the ride. This is a vlog about three friends who like eating good food, having a good drink, and finding humor in everyday life. I don't know that I can resist it. I started shopping at Hubbard Meats. Look at me now. I had no idea my Uncle Bobby had been here. So we decided to take a road trip and use a bunch of action cameras to tell the story. And this is what we came up with. Alex, we're out of Big Red. What? <laughs> so, yeah. Let's catch everyone up. We've just had what might be the best meal I've ever had at a restaurant. It's still only day one-ish of the trip. Dinner Plans has us eating at Dairy Queen in College Station. In case you didn't know, Texas Dairy Queens have their own menu, which may be the most Texas thing ever. And on this episode, Kevin makes an odd comparison. Stuff earlier was like a supermodel on a beach. This is like a really old Thai hooker that he brought back. Alex orders a dilly bar. I like a dilly bar. And Matt won't stop eating. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and because I'm still going. Like, I'm, I can't stop. Dairy Queen better be amazing. Yeah, there's been a lot of talk about that being way better than just a crap hole fast food place. I don't know if I would have got saved if it wasn't for Dairy Queen. I'm not, I'm not going to say Dairy Queen saved me. Like, I didn't find Jesus because of Dairy Queen. But I'm saying it didn't hurt. <laughs> I'd go with my grandfather on Sunday. To church because I knew that we would go to lunch at Dairy Queen after church. You know, it was kind of my gateway drug That's into how you Christianity. Found the Lord. <laughs> it's my gateway drug into Christianity. <laughs> was three tacos every time my, my See, tacos. What? Yes. Yes. It's it, not a Dairy Queen. It was yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you, three tacos. Can you just get tacos at any restaurant in Texas? Well, if you ask politely, <laughs> like Waffle House, they have tacos. Waffle tacos. Scattered, stunk, covered, diced, <laughs> smothered. So every Sunday, I was that kid that couldn't decide between three tacos or nachos. And I would try to get both. Like, I'd try to, like, <laughs> manipulate my way into it. I was that typical fat kid, you know. I was like, look, uh, can I get nachos and a couple of tacos? Let's talk about one of our sponsors that made this trip happen. Did y'all sleep good at the Airbnb last night? I slept like a rock. It was freezing in there. Do you know what makes it freezing? It really holds that temperature. It must have been really well insulated. I don't think it could have been that well insulated because efficiency plus insulation didn't do it. Yeah, I don't think they've ever traveled to Texas, but I do know that they're the best around in South Georgia. They do attics, they do crawl spaces, they do uh, new construction and remodels. And uh, a lot of people say that when they get their attic insulated, you know, it's not that much of a cost, but they start saving 30, 40% on their electricity bills like every month. So, pretty good deal. You should check them out. Efficiency.plus. So, as you can tell, there's a little weather. Can't all be sunshine and giggles. Right now, we're on our way to the Dairy Queen. Um, we'll school some more fools on what real Dairy Queen should be like. What if we get there and they're like, oh, you know what? We just converted back to like a normal Dairy Queen menu. So we don't, we don't do that old Texas thing anymore. We adopted the Georgia menu. I'm going home. <laughs> Trip is over. Like, I, this is the one I'm nervous about. Like, because this is such a nostalgia thing for me. And you're going to cry. And this isn't lunch. what you remember. You're going to be crying. I know it already. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This looks like the... DQ in Cairo right now. <laughs> They're like a fry, pie, and a large coffee, pronto. These are the steak fingers. This burger is heavy. Did you feel it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then these are the tacos. I think I'm most excited about those steak fingers. And then the nachos. This feels disappointing already. <laughs> it's definitely like a good, I could see after a football game or 
church in your case. I got some crunch. I was gonna say I heard a little crunch mm -hmm. there. The meat is definitely better. The meat's definitely better. I like the sauce. Yeah, the sauce, the sauce is the sauce is where the party's at. It was weird to be eating tacos and nachos. Nachos from Dairy Queen, but right. Well, these aren't too bad. Now grab one of those burgers. Now is where the this is where the men and the boys get separated. That's a triple burger right there, son. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that's gonna be legit. All right, I'm doing it. Mmm. Mm. 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 So these are the steak fingers. That's interesting. Interesting. I want to try something interesting. I want to try something interesting too. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, yeah. Like a pro Texas move right there. It's borderline Canadian right there. <laughs> a poutine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a fan of this. Mm-hmm. Good. Reminds me a little of my mom's uh, <clears throat> cube steak. Right. It's a bold statement there. Cotton. Instead of reminds me a little. You think Major Mona's <laughs> gonna be happy about that? No. The thing about these kind of nachos, they're not great, but oh. you kind of keep, mm -hmm. you, you can't stop picking at them. I can. I'm just disappointed. If a bean, those are the nachos of my youth. I knew this was gonna happen. I was afraid this was going to happen. It's okay. I'm not gonna You're dealing pretty well with it. You're going to cry later in this bed. Well, <laughs> I'm officially full. Like, I feel like I've eaten too much today. I've man. eaten way too much. I got my second win. <clears throat> I'm going to be sick tonight, man. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm still going. Like, I'm, I can't stop. Like, what you ate at lunch today, and now you're eating, like... Man, it was impressive. Still going. <laughs> you are a beast. Is it a waste thing? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's gonna be trouble. Bathroom. I know those French fries aren't that good. They're not that good. <laughs> it did bring the right people on this kind of trip. No, yeah. <laughs> like, like if it were something that was amazing, like I'd be like, yeah, I gotta keep eating that. But like, I know those fries suck. They're cold. They're floppy. Yeah. Have you put the gravy on it? Matt, if you want to just pour it down your throat. <laughs> your gullet. Yeah. I do want to do that, actually. Shoot it! Shoot it! This is a whole nother video now. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I was like all on the move and everything. <laughs> Fuck, I was right there with you. I thought he was doing it. I thought he was, too. I'm done. I'm not drinking any gravy. Camera's on you. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Chicken shit. I can't do it. I'll drive tomorrow if you do it. I'm not drinking that. <laughs> yeah, common sense. I was hoping Matt didn't. <laughs> See, despite the slender Out exterior that Matt has had recently, I know Matt very well. <clears throat> If you, ha if you get me to drink a Dr. Pepper on this trip, I mean, it's been years now, so it's, it's all going to be over. Like, the whole getting in shape thing is just going to be done. <laughs> One drop. So, so if he tries to do that, Kevin, you've got to, like, step in. He needs an intervention. You might be asking the worst person <laughs> oh, to not watch this debacle because oh, I feel like... I <laughs> I want to see that happen for some <laughs> reason. I don't know why. But. Like you make it sound like if you drink Dr. Pepper, like the <laughs> like, clothes are coming yeah, off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Pepper yeah. makes the clothes fall off. <laughs> like if doing. there's a possible train wreck, like Kevin wants to see it. <laughs> and kind of encourage it. <laughs> if you're looking for the voice of reason, it's not sitting in that seat right there. <laughs> 
Okay, verdict. I'm gonna rate the dishes, okay? The burger, strong. I give it an eight or a nine. The uh, tacos, I'll give them a seven. <clears throat> the steak fingers are an eight for me. Like, legit. I'm about to have another one right now. And the nachos, eh, give them a five or six. I'm not gonna lie, the nachos and the tacos, they've changed. They've changed the recipe on them and they're not what I remember. Not the stuff of your dreams. No, but these burgers are the same. The burgers, are legit. the burgers, they, hang their, they can hang their hat on that burger. Dip the hamburger in gravy. Pepper. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he spit it out. You can't do it. He just hit Ty Hooker. <laughs> That's Ty Hooker right there. It's cold. Everything's cold. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Now, how happy are you <laughs> that you didn't I just right call. <laughs> All right, let's go find some Dr. Pepper and get this. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to start a fight. <laughs> <laughs>
great content, a real throwback to old time radio, a live morning show, a 10 o'clock lunch show that has all kinds of things from sports to news. They purposely try to point out positive stories. From 92.3, you won't go wrong. I've been saying for years, our community needs a standalone butcher and finally we have one. Hubbard's Country Meats, they do a good job of trimming meat for you. If they don't have what you want, they'll find it. Adam is a great guy, his dad, they run the place, they do a good job. You need to go by and check them out. Hubbard's Country Meat in downtown Thomasville. Ron Wilkerson at Efficiency Plus. If you are building a home, if your air conditioning makes your light bill too high, these are the people you want to get. They do a little bit of everything when it comes to insulation. It's a family run, local business. Contact Efficiency Plus for all your insulation needs. As a videographer, working with a good photographer can be very important, especially on a wedding day. I can't speak good enough about Johanna Lake in photography. Portraits for your business, for your family, for everyday life, for your wedding. I'm telling you, you need to give Johanna Lakin a call. Earl Folsom and Chris Jared at Thomasville Physical Therapy are the best in town, period. You won't find anybody who talks bad about them. Whether you need hand therapy, whether you need orthopedic, sports medicine, these guys have been doing sports medicine since 1983. They have the experience. They know what they're doing. They're amazing. Go by, see them. I talk to people all the time about Oppenheim Signature Smiles and how it changed their life. And I always think to myself, Man, what a bold statement, but every single person I talk to talks about how their life has been changed by Dr. Thomas Oppenheim at Oppenheim Signature Smiles. If you want a smile that's going to change your life, go see Thomas Oppenheim at Oppenheim Signature Smiles. Whether you're in Florida, in Georgia, on the coast, in the country, call Chris King and check out Kingdom Builders. Chris is such a great guy. He's fun to work with. He wants everybody to be happy and goes out of his way to make sure everyone is happy. Let him give you a quote. You won't be disappointed. And on the next episode, there's no way that I'm tripping in Texas and not talking about Texas A&M. Gig'em.